So in this video today, I'll be showing you how to draw the very, very basic uh, proportions for a guy. Um, so as you can see, I've got a little bit started. The head's here, and I've marked where the top of the head is, and then by taking the length of the head down, I've marked about seven and a half heads in length, which the general human figure is seven and a half to eight. Um, obviously that varies, but that's what we'll be working with today. And then I've also marked the midpoint, which is where the legs meet the torso. So let's get started. Um, we'll just bring down the neck, of course, and then bring out some shoulders. The shoulder width on an average guy is about twice the length of the head. On girls that is different, and I'll definitely show in another video the basic anatomy for a girl. Um, but once you have that, then you can come down, and every artist, you know, definitely approaches this differently. This is just the way I've found that it's easiest to draw people. If it doesn't work for you, that is totally fine. So I kind of draw basically kind of where the pictorials are and then come down more just to show the torso and then the waist. As you can see, we're not really worried about like making it look nice or perfect or anything. It's just the basic blocky shapes to help know where everything is. Um, here I'll mark a vague area of where I want to put the ankles eventually because I don't want the ankles to like end up right on the height line because you need to have some room to specify the feet. But now I want to find the midpoint between here for the knees. So that's roughly in there-ish. Um, and then mark where those will be. And then the ankles as well. And here, you know, it's always good to know as much anatomy as you can. You don't have to go out and take an anatomy class or anything, but um, the femur comes in this way and then the bones go out like this. And so when we bring in the leg, there's definite muscle movement in, you know, that way. But just for, you know, basic cartoonish drawings, it's not necessary to know or anything. But if you want to go into figure drawing, it would be very good to know. <laughs> so I think I've made this a bit too long. It's important too to know some like the muscle groups so you know the different shapes that the legs make. Um, and just by observing people around you, you'll pick up on that. Once again, obviously this isn't, you know, looking nice. I remember when I was like trying to figure out how to draw people, looking at all these different tutorials, uh, they always like looked so nice and professional and it was really daunting to me. But you know, if you're just sketching out a person, it does not have to look good, especially when it's just like this awkward straight on position, like you're never going to really draw that. So this is simply just for getting down the measurements and proportions of everything. Now that we have that, we can do the arms. The length of the arm plus the length of the hand extends to a little bit past the midpoint of the thigh. Sometimes a little bit shorter, sometimes longer. Yeah, obviously depends. Um, and then the elbow usually is around, you know, the top where you can kind of feel your hip bone is really where the elbow generally kind of touches. So. Come in at the first top of the arm, and then the forearm.
So that's sort of the very basic, bare minimum of drawing a figure. Um, hopefully this will at least get you started. You know, there's so much more to it, but maybe that'll <laughs> help a little bit in uh, getting the measurements right. Um, later I'll be doing a video that's more about gestures and drawing in different positions and stuff to really, you know, that's what you want to draw. You don't want to draw people just standing stick straight. And then I'll also draw a video on girls and because they have a different measurements and everything. It's similar, but it is a little bit different. So I really hope this helped in some way. And again, thank you for watching.